Hello, I'm Hugh Collingborn and I'm the instructor on this C programming course. Now, before we get started, let me give you a quick overview of what to expect. This is a course that is suitable either for complete programming beginners or if you've got experience in another programming language, say C Sharp or Java, then you can certainly start on this course and learn all the special features of C. Now, C is quite an old language, but it's a very important language. It's used all over the place for programming everything from applications, the sort of things you'd run on your PC or your Mac. It's also used for programming hardware devices. And it's the foundation of other languages such as Objective-C and C++. They are built on the uh, foundations of the C language, if you like. So even if you want to program those languages, a knowledge of C is going to be absolutely vital. And even beyond those languages, there are other languages that have taken the syntax of C. Languages such as C Sharp and Java have adapted the syntax that was first popularized by the C language. Now, while I'll be covering the basics of programming, for novice programmers in the early sections of this course, things such as variables, functions, and so on, I'll be getting quite deeply into the special features of C. So if you've come from another language, uh, you can skip the very early stages and go on to the more in-depth discussions on the C language and libraries and special features such as C pointers, memory allocation, how to use addresses, and so on. So we'll be getting into all that sort of nitty-gritty detail later in the course. Now, C really is a hardcore programmer's language. It's often called a low-level language because it works in a way that is quite natural for the hardware, for the computer hardware. And you will need, if you're programming C effectively, you'll need to understand a great deal about how the computer works, how memory is addressed, for example, how memory is allocated and freed, and so on. And so we'd be looking at all that in this course. The course itself is suitable for programmers on a Mac, on a Windows-based PC, or on Linux. You can write C programs in all those operating systems, all major operating systems. And in fact, in this course, I'll be showing how to program on the Mac and on Windows. Many of the videos will be recorded on both of those computers. Now, the core of this course is provided by the video tutorials. And there are many, many hours of short video lessons. But there is also all the source code. You'll find the source code archive contains all of the programs that I discuss in the lessons. And so you can run those, try them out for yourself, see how they work, make changes to them, use them as the foundation for your own programs. Go and develop uh, based on my code, go and develop your own programs. So that's a, a really good way of learning is to do some hands-on programming using the basis of my programs, but adapting them. Beyond that, there is also the ebook, the little book of C. That is divided into 10 chapters which match the 10 steps of this course. So once you've watched the videos, if you want to understand some of the details that maybe you didn't understand when you saw the video, read the accompanying chapter in the ebook. So, so now it's time to get started on the course.